What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media, and I want to give you guys some quick information about this whole entire Tokyo Game Show. So I'm going to keep this video a little bit brief because there's more information coming out, and I don't want to miss out on it. So yes, I'm just going to keep you guys updated as to what's going on. Now, one of the things that is going on right now is the whole entire uh, Bloodborne releasing in the West on February 6th of 2015, which is basically next year or the year of the games because this year was basically a tax write-off or a leap year, if you will, for games because no one wants to bring out games this year. I don't know. I mean, maybe they just don't like us. Um, yes, the visuals of that game did, did look uh, pretty good. They showed some more footage of it. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be coming out in Japan at least on the on the sixth. So they're supposed to get it a little bit earlier than the people in the United States. So that's always great news to see that they didn't actually get screwed this year because that's not fair. That's not fair. Uh, moving on from that news, they they actually did uh, talk about the whole entire Final Fantasy Type Zero HD, which is basically like an old school looking game. I would say old school because it looks like a PS3 Xbox 360 game, but uh, yeah, it did look okay. The camera angles were just a little bit shaky on it, but yeah, I mean the game looks all right. Uh, you know, they debuted the trailer for it. If you guys want to check it out, the link is in the description. But it's supposed to you know come out on March 17th. So yes. That is actually pretty good. Uh, March 20th uh, for Europe, I believe. Uh, moving on from that one, speaking of Final Fantasy, there is the new Final Fantasy 15, which looks absolutely awesome. And I'm not going to hype it up because uh, every time we hype up a game, it turns out a horrible disappointment. So, yes, Final Fantasy uh, 15 is uh, going on at the Tokyo Game Show. And it does take some cues from Monster Hunter because it kind of reminds you of Monster Hunter in small ways because of the way that you got there and you basically just slash monsters because monsters need to die and and that's that's pretty fair because monsters need to die so yes uh they, they're supposed to bring that game out hopefully next year and you know every time they talk about it the news seems to disappear but yeah it was about a half minute trailer you want to check it out that link is also in the description i recommend you uh, pick that game up when it comes out because i will definitely be getting it because the car looks really cool um, moving off from that one, and arguably one of the best ones I've seen so far today is definitely Deep Down, where they basically re-debuted the dragon, and they were, you know, showed some more visuals as to what's going on in the game, and basically it's in the future, not necessarily in the past, and you go back as a knight, and you go get relics and all these other random things, and it shows, like, how bad the monsters are and how good you get to throw, like, spells and stuff, and it's supposed to be, like, a little bit of co-op going on there. Hopefully, it's more like, you know, five, and you get to just roll into a dungeon together. That seems pretty cool. Um... This game does look pretty awesome. Uh, they showed a dragon again, which is like the same one that they showed from like E3 or whatever. But basically, this one was in another different setting. So I'm like, is there more of the same dragon? Maybe it's like triplets or like sister, sister. I don't know. Um, then they finally debuted this whole entire uh, Dragon Quest uh, Heroes game, which, you know, looked okay. A lot of people were happy about it and the uh, exciting gameplay that came out of the show. But yes, um, I will say personally, it's not that exciting. I was not like, I was more like, personally, I think Hyrule Warriors looks better, but not that I would ever play Wii U. But... I will say this that you know it, it, it was definitely good to see like the characters again but i will say the gameplay looked a little shoddy it was one of those ones where like you got like the the, the open war thing going on and the characters that you're fighting don't necessarily care i mean i will give destiny their their credit because their characters do move when they're getting beat up by somebody way stronger than them and these characters were kind of just sitting there like oh we're getting beat up we're getting beat up, you know what I'm saying? And a dragon was like a big, dumb Hodor just getting slashed in the back. And it wasn't even fighting back. It was just walking around like, uh, kill me, kill me, kill me. I'm like, fight back. Fight back. Don't just take the beating, okay? You have to dish out the beating back to make the game fun, not just beat up dragons that don't necessarily care that they're dying. I'm like, don't you want to live? Don't you? Well, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holler at y'all later. No, really, I will try to holler at y'all later.